Hi friends, today I will explain you how to calculate a reduced level from rise and fall method. Actually, it's a question from my Facebook page member. So we need to solve that and calculate rise and fall method. So let's go on the screen and we can start over. So before starting this video kindly subscribe my youtube channel and uh, you can also like my facebook page to discuss about land surveying any topic and also about AutoCAD civil 3d so let's start our question you have sent me a question that uh, look like this we have two bm one here and another one is here beam values are established but we need to calculate a reduced level between them and we uh, go with three setups you see setup one setup two and setup three when we uh, set auto level on the setup one we take back sight on the beam or and then enter site on y steps and f curves then go for the cp1 as foresight later we put our auto level on the set 2 take the back side on the cp1 and then z gutter and is the main point that under side of the bridge which is the minus 95 295 sorry and then cp2 as a back uh, as a foresight in third setup same like that but we close on the pm6 so we have some question i put these all values in our table format you can see all back side we have here and inter side then foresight reduce level of the pm we have here and you can see all of the name of each point and then we have pm here these two pm and back side inter side and foresight we have already in the field when we come in the office and want to calculate rise and fall between these points first of all you will go with these two point back side and then inter side minus this these two you will get fall how you will get fall when you will minus you will get minus the minus reading if you have reading in the minus you will put that in the fall column otherwise later when you will minus these two you will get reading in the plus so you will put that in the right column simply if you are experienced you can get now with these rating that uh, if we have uh, this reading longer than that so we have definitely fall so when you uh, minus this you will get again fall but when you reach here you will stop this loop then you can't minus this with that backside so next loop will go like that you will minus these two and get that but here is the some difficult so as a newbie you can't calculate that you will definitely fell down in that that this is the reading in the minus so it is was the underside of the bridge so you will plus these two because we are going to calculate the height if you want to know how to calculate the height of any roof you can calculate like that because we have one reading on the downside and another reading on the upside so we will plus them to get rise later you will also plus them to get another fall because we are going up 
now and our reading will be fell in the fall column it blue will the finish here then another blue will go with this c reading so it's the same for all and at the last we have four side which will minus with this reading and get also fall here so for the next next step we will calculate our reduce level how we will calculate our reduce level we will ppf reading in the fall column we will minus our reduce level with this reading to get this level for the next we have reading in the price column so we will plus these two to get this level later we have also um, reading in the fall column so we will minus minus then we have plus uh, sorry with it to get this then we have another fall and we, we will minus that with previous reduce level at the end we will get this so over the first question is that what is the miss closure of the level run if it was the close to towards we will match our bm level with this but it is open traverse so we have before this elevation for the bm6 now we have calculated that it is 44.735 for the miss closure of this level run we will minus this basic bm reduced level to calculate it rl of this bm so we will get that 0.015 meter for the next question point u how much is above uh, or below the starting p so we will see that how much uh, our u is above or below from the bm4 u is 49.785 and this is 47 so our u point is above so we will minus these two level to get 2.780 another question is very important that the horizontal distance between points f and d is 40 meter it is noun what is the grade of and grade from the f to d in percentage so how we can calculate we have f here and d we have here when you will minus these two rl you will get this height okay and we have 40 meters this horizontal distance so we are getting a right triangle so using Pythagoras theorem we can calculate also this but here we don't need to calculate our hypotenuse so we need to divide by that this height will be divided by 40 meter and then we will multiply that with 100 to get the percentage of that between f and t so it was the rise and fall method hope you enjoyed this video if you have any question you can comment to me